Now that I've had some time to uh, test out my new router table and the lift and everything, I wanted to give you an update report on, uh, I don't know, some of the things that I've observed with it. First of all, the casters that I have on the bottom. I'm not so sure I'm going to keep the casters or not. Where it's sitting right here is perfect because the floor is really level there. But as I roll it out into a different location, it wobbles because my concrete floor is not really perfectly level. The main reason I wanted casters on there is because it was actually for shooting videos because I could roll this out and I need to set up the camera like here because I can't, there's no room for me to set up a camera over here. That was really why I wanted to do that, but I don't know, I'm kind of rethinking that now. Well, you'll notice that I, I got my door put on and I've got that on now because I want to run a little experiment on getting the dust out of there. I'll do that here in a minute. Uh, the lift works really nicely. Oh, one thing about this drawer here, it's really tight. Uh, it's because <laughs> I got to sand it down some more on the sides. All the other drawers seem fine, but this one, I guess I got it a little bit too tight. And we've been having so much rain lately that this is just expanding. I'm sure it'll be fine here once it dries out, but I want to get that a little bit smoother. But anyways, this is where I keep my stuff. Right now, I've just got a regular socket wrench in here, which uh, works, but I don't know. It, it's kind of a pain. So I think what I'm going to do is just uh, make you know, one of these kind of lifts just using a socket on it, and I think that'll be a lot better. But I want to show you how smoothly this uh, works pretty well, you know. See, here's the problem is when I use this long handle, once the bit gets up too high, I'm just going to hit it there, so that's why I want to change that a little bit. And the only trick to getting that run, running smoothly is adjusting these set screws into here to where they're fairly tight. I noticed if it was, if those were too loose, it would run really smoothly up and down, but it would have a little bit of a wobble to it. So with those in there nice and tight, it's got a little bit of friction to it, and I don't know, it works out well. I haven't had this budge at all. I've been using this dust collection port. My uh, shop back just fits into it like that on the fence. And, uh, you know, it works pretty well if I bring the fence up really close. Obviously on a bit like this, which is just bearing driven, I don't really need the fence, but I've been doing that to try in hopes of sucking up some of the dust. Uh, after using this for a while, I made a cutting board last week for my mom. I looked down in here and there was a lot of sawdust down in there. So that's what I want to test out today. I've uh, put in a, another hole in the back so that I could put this here. And what I'll do is I'll run a test. I'll take a board and I'll just use that same round over bit because it was creating a lot of sawdust. Uh, I'll do a few passes on it with the vacuum on and without and we'll see if it makes any difference. Okay, so I've got a couple of uh, just pine two by fours that I've laminated together. It's basically, I guess you'd call it a four by four. Uh, and I'm just going to run it through two passes without the vacuum on. I've cleaned out the inside and I have the door closed and we'll just see how much sawdust accumulates. Well, first of all, without the vacuum hooked up to the fence, it's uh, got a lot of sawdust all over the top, that's for sure. But now let's look under here. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to quantify this. Maybe I'll scoop it up into a little pile and we can measure it. <laughs> okay, I've got it all swept up. And now, of course, this is rather unscientific, but this is the pile of sawdust that was on top of the table. And this is all of the sawdust that I got from under here. And, you know, to me, it looks like twice as much is really coming on top of the table as underneath. So now let me do it with the vacuum on. On first glance, it looks like about the same amount of sawdust on top, which is, I guess, what I would expect with no vacuum on there. Now, let me check inside. Uh, 
I don't know, it looks like about the same. Let me scoop it up and find out. Well, I thought I'd run one more test, so I've cut another board that is also square and it's the same length as my first board. And I'll run both of these edges through with the vacuum on just the fence, and the fence is very close to the bit. There's a lot less sawdust on the top, which of course I would expect, but let's check down below. And, well, that looks like just about the same as before. Well, let me scoop it up and we'll check it out. Okay, so here are my results. These samples here are all taken inside of the cabinet. These are all taken on top of the table. This was the first test with no vacuum on anything, and Clearly it's a lot more sawdust on top of the table than it actually falls inside. This second sample was the one where I stuck the vacuum into the cabinet and there was no vacuum on the fence. And well, it looks identical. It looks like the vacuum inside is doing nothing. Uh, on this third test, this is the one with the vacuum on the fence and it gets almost all of the sawdust from the top of the table and inside it looks like exactly the same as the rest. So what I conclude from this is that the vacuum port on the fence makes a good deal of sense because it's so close to the bit it's obviously extracting all the dust right away. The vacuum port in the cabinet is, well, basically worthless. I, I see no advantage to using that at all. Of course, there's a lot of variables here too. Uh, you know, maybe the hole, I have it too high up. It should be closer to the base here. Maybe the sawdust would, you know, funnel towards it. That could be one way. Uh, maybe actually the hole and the port should be closer to the top, right, where the dust starts to come in. Uh, I'm not sure if it would help if the door was open while it was supposedly extracting dust. I don't know, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll use the one on the fence probably all the time. The one down here, not so much.